Pete Davidson is now dating Kim Kardashian. How jealous are you, Jamal? I'm not jealous. What are you but talking about? Um, it's been a great one. I, a great. I am. Great I am shocked that Pete Davidson has dated some of the most incredibly famous, popular women. In oh, the so world. you are jealous? Okay. Well, I'm a little <laughs> curious. A little I gotta say, I'm a little curious. I mean, if you put a picture of Pete, Day, I mean, there's got to be something happening there. Let's just put it out there. He's got the Kavorka. I'm gonna I send mean, you a link to an article. I don't there's know what an Kavorka article. is. I'm googling. You don't remember that from Seinfeld, where um, Kramer was like, you know, dating all these beautiful women, and it's because he explained he had the Kavorka. He's got a better finishing move. Yeah. This is an article that went viral this week. Emily Ratajkowski. How do you pronounce her name? Yeah. Breaks yeah, down. Yeah, the, breaks down why women find Pete Davidson so attractive. And so this was like, you know, I saw it all over Twitter this week, but it was all about, you know, the, and what the is claim. the answer? Just give me the headlines. I don't know. It's some uh, he's got uh, super charming. He's vulnerable. He's lovely. His fingernail polish is awesome. He looks good. He has a good relationship with his mom. I mean, I just think he comes across as a good guy might be the appeal. Um, that also, they want to take care of him, I think, because he's got like his I dad. I think you died. guys are missing a more subtle, not obvious point. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, Shalom. <laughs> <laughs> do, do explain. Maybe you could expand. I'm just it's guessing. A family, it's thesis. a family show, Shalom. It's a family show. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, no, I think they want to take care of him. That's what I heard good from for a, Pete Davidson. a woman said. They want to like Rock nurture him Pete and Davidson. take care of him. Rock but yeah, I mean, also Kim Kardashian, I, I think, you know, she just got the Gen Z. I think she was probably going the way of Paris Hilton, like maybe aging out of her, uh, you know, uh, celebrity. And now she went Kanye, kind of Gen X, right? And now she's going down to Gen Z. She's got a whole new. I, mean, I hate to be cynical about it, but I, I, I also, you know, I'm going like to take so much. Me, I'm going to take so much flack for saying this, but um, I was a little short Donda, but I've listened to Donda now a couple times, and my God. Is it good? It's pretty fucking good. I mean, Kanye West is one of legitimately one of the most incredible artists of of all time. I mean, the way his I, mind I agree works, with that. the music, the beats, it's outrageous. I think if you give Donda like two or three shots, it's I was really a late registration, amazing. college dropout, and eight oh eight and heartbreaks. I, amazing. My dark and, twisted fantasy was probably one of the best albums ever created. Well, see, that's the thing is, I think ridiculous with his later work. Like, I didn't get into my beautiful dark twisted fantasy until I had listened amazing. to it ten times. And amazing. Then I was like, okay, I get it. Amazing. Yeah. And the I, early I feel stuff like are so accessible, like drop so accessible, and registration. Yeah. But Donda is uh, pretty incredible. Perfect. I mean, it's, right now, uh, David Sachs is like, "What are you guys talking about? I uh, haven't listened to any of this." David, do you know? He's like, "Is that like Paul Anka?" <laughs> David's like, "Yeah, wow." Sax, do you listen to music? Actually, this yeah, is a Sachs, question. What's your favorite artist? What's your favorite yeah, band? Like, like if we and found, why? like if we listened, to like your like your workout track. So like on your eh. like on on eh. on Barry uh, Manilow. A, like I Apple. Like what are you listening to? Like Spotify. Like what are you listening Tucker to? Tucker Carlson. No I music. Don't, I, don't, I don't listen to music when I work out. The only what? time what? I really listen, when I listen, I, the only time I really listen to music is when I'm like in a car, or on a plane, or whatever. But do you have music, for example, like downloaded on your phone? Like if he said, yeah. pull out your phone, huh? Yeah, I do. Can I, you, you should know, just give a, give a couple names here, yeah. Top three, yeah. Honestly, it's going to be recent hits because I just download what my kids tell me to download. I understand. That's where I get it from. Just uh, give me a couple albums that you've downloaded. Okay, so hold on. Where's um, recently added? Okay, so it looks to me like I recently added Khalid. Yes. Okay. Good. Well, Good. Uh, there's a Gaga song, uh, Kid Leroy and Miley Cyrus. Okay. Kid okay. Leroy, Kid Leroy and Justin Bieber. Great. Oh, Doja Cat. My kids love right. Doja She's Cat. She's great. She's great. TikTok queen. Yeah. She's See, great. my kids keep me current. You know, you think I'm like. She's great. Here's what I'm doing for my kids. This is my oh. new parenting strategy. <laughs> I was let, they love listening to the 80s playlist on Spotify. But now I was like, what, are, who are like great seminal artists? So I have them doing Tom Petty, David Bowie. Talking Heads and Bob Marley and I get the whole greatest hits album and I explain to them every song and they're like totally getting into it because so like, basically I want them to actually know what being, great music is you're being self indulgent you're focused on yourself and you're trying to make them a loser. 
No, I'm trying to get them to understand what actual really, music. Really, bro? You want your music. kids to walk into school and when somebody else is like, hey, do you like Doja Cat? They're like, no, but have you listened David to Bowie. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers? <laughs> I've, been, I've been doing that. I've been playing my kids, my uh, favorite artists, and they and he's become their favorite artist. Aphex Twin. You guys don't know who he is. Yeah, sure. Aphex Twin. So yeah, yeah. Well. Aphex what Twin about, has this what about uh, Orbit, great Orbital. album called the, the Richard Brothers? D. James album. Richard D. James album is, is probably one of the best albums of all time. And I play it and my kids go friggin' nuts for it now and they ask for it nonstop. And I'm like, oh my God, I love you. You're my kids. It's the best. Mm. Look at I'm trying carefully. to get my kids into the, my favorite movies, and that's just too hard because movies Say were hi, they were so, too slow back then. So did you? Yeah, getting the kids to watch movies is hard. They want to watch hard. Like, yeah. yeah, no, mo- they can't watch movies. They're too slow. They can't watch movies. They can only watch a Marvel movie. They can't even watch the original Star it's Wars crazy. or Raiders yeah. of the Lost Ark. Totally. Anything where the scene doesn't cut every one and a half seconds, right. they can't watch. It's crazy. I was like Raiders of the Lost Ark. You're gonna love this. So like, this is so boring. I'm like. <laughs> Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple totally. of Doom are boring. Isn't They're that like, crazy? This is terrible. Well, but then because, I, wa- because I remember the first watching act like is character development. They they want to cut the first act. <laughs> Have yeah. you guys Jaws, watched? Um, you didn't watch Jaws would be like unwatchable. But today. I remember as a kid watching Terminator oh, 2 and she loved it. Did you guys ever watch like AMC and you watch the old school movies of the 30s and 40s? They are impossible to watch. Like they are so. so it's like watching a play. Mm-hmm. And that exactly. was you know it's like gotten more and more kind of um, short form as we've kind of aged. But you know. That's like, oh no, what happened? Oh, que sadich. Aki. Uh, Aki. Holding a biscuit and Aki just came Ooh. and took it from Aki, me. Aki, <laughs> not good, Aki. You don't take it a biscuit. Aki, you eat a dog food. You don't eat it a biscuit. Bad Aki. You know, those biscuits are cashmere. They're really expensive. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get my booster <laughs> shot. I'll see you guys later. All right, everybody. This has been another exciting, amazing episode of the All In Podcast for I'm going to get Sergio Cookies. For... The dictator, Hi, Nat. Shamath Pahapatiya, and the Sultan of Science, David Freeberg. We'll see you all next time. Saxy Poo, have a wonderful time with Suarez. He came by uh, last yeah. night. I'm, I'm hosting uh, Miami Mayor Francis Suarez tonight. We're doing a cocktail reception fundraiser for him. Hung out with him last and night. And we got huge turnout. I mean, I tweeted this thing, and we're going to have, I think, at least 60 people at the reception, at least oh. 20 people for dinner. Which yeah, is dirty. You're we're letting we're, randos in your house from Twitter? We're on security. <laughs> oh, they have to pay five dimes. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 they have to pay. But also, like, we, we kind of check back, everybody out. Well, one, of your enemies, one of your enemies will pay five dimes just to get in your yeah, house. I, so. I think basically, like, security. BuzzFeed paid to get in there. I'd be careful. No, we, have to, we have to know who they are. We vet them. Background check. And there's a lot yeah. of people. I mean, look, if we wanted to let everybody in, there are at least 100 people who replied to my tweet saying, I can't DM you, but I want to go. and Open your DMs for a day. Oh, you can do that? Yeah. Francis came by yesterday with his team. He was in top form. He looks great. He's excited about the next term. All right. We'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.